November 8, 2017, back to Pier 90, chasing bass. Only two of us this morning, me and Tomas. I'm going to name this video, Back That Bass Up. <laughs> huh. My watch must have stopped. I got 12.10. So, whatever time it is, getting my first bait in the water. It's 6.22. Getting over here on the grass bed where I like to fish. Getting my first bait in the water. Using a white dollar spinner bait from Walmart. My old Akuma reel. Ugly stick coastal rod and 12 pound trilene. Let's see if the bass want to play today. Back out here at Pier 90, fishing this grass bed, it's one of my favorite spots. Using my white spinner bait. Tomas has already picked up a bass on a on a white buzz bait. Let's see what we can do today. Usually they're right in this area. So, so not only am I fighting the skunk, now it's starting to rain. So it looks like we're probably gonna get that 20%. <coughs> I ain't had a bite yet. Tomas got two bass. What's up with that? Took a while. Fighting to get the skunk off here. Oh, he's pretty good size. <laughs> oh, I got the big mule, buddy. You know what that was? A big shoe pick. <laughs> yeah. Boy, he bent the crap out of my bait. I didn't want that in the boat, boy, it'd tear it up. And that's a new species for the boat. There you go. Skunk off, first good fish. Ended up being a shoe pick. So we call him here. Commonly known as a bow fin or a mud fish. I'm glad he flipped off beside the boat because that'd have been wild inside the kayak here. They're prehistoric and strong as can be. Let's see if we can find a bass. Thought that was a good one. Seven twenty. Fi sun's finally breaking through the haze. Still got the skunk going on. Officially, not going to count that shoe pick. I touched the leader, but I didn't want nothing to do with bringing that in the boat. I'll bring a bull shark in the kayak, but I'm not bringing a shoe pick in if I don't have to. Just had a little bass hit right here. Jump and spit the bait. Little green bass. You keeping them today? Check them out. Little bass. Yeah, right off the uh, bank. Hit it out in the middle. What if I ought to keep this one? Hooked him through the eyes, bleeding real bad. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and keep him. That was my first cast against the bank. Yeah. Jumping bass. There you go. He's a little better. Well, we definitely got the skunk off. Come on, let me have it in the back. Oh, 
Pretty little bass. Make a nice fish sandwich. Got this little bird nest hanging over the marsh. Pretty cool. Nothing in it though. That's pretty awesome. Wonder what kind of bird that was. Meat. Not just about fishing. Got to enjoy nature while you're out here. Let's re-rig and try something different. I'll try a try a little purple lizard. Then once I got the hook on there, just one will be good. Oh, oh man. And oh Lord, if that don't get him. <laughs> if that don't get him. I'm using uh, this color worm right now. It's got okay. purple with blue specks. Purple with flake. Yeah. You got that? Yeah, I got one right here. Kind of purple with blue flake and and a uh, curly tail a little different than the one I got on there is black I'll try it first then we got a bush hog kind of looks like a crawfish and what's this other one called uh, a rodent, rodent. Yeah. all right let's see what happens yeah, yeah two bass on a spinner bait I swapped the worms I tried the black and purple lizard about 20 minutes nothing on it trying a purple worm right now and I'll try some of those other baits that uh, Tomas gave me Let's see what happens here there you go purple worm yep I did Like they're liking the purple worm there, Tomas. Like the well, yeah, you got bigger too. Better fish. I was just thinking about going back to a spinner bait. Maybe not. The bass are hot. Struggling against the wind on the way back in. I'm gonna I swap to my little beetle spin and uh, mini cast and just try to dodge in and out these little pockets and see if we can pick up any sockele, perch maybe even another little bass or two on the mini on the mini spin got that chartreuse and black uh, beetle spin seems to be pretty productive here <laughs> look, look, little channel cat. Slime me line all up. Good little eating size. In the box. Catfish on a little chartreuse and black beetle spin with a gold blade usually I use silver but I figured I'd try gold when I had one so let's see if we can pick up a few perch or whatever on the way in oh, something little oh no <laughs> this perch is so little I don't know how he got the bait in his mouth Little bluegill, yeah, I'm not keeping any bluegills. Yeah, a little bluegill. Whoops. Yeah, I went to a beetle spin. I wasn't having no luck with the worm. Uh, no, the catfish. Yeah. I got six pound test with the uh, 
Oh. Yeah. I only got six pound test and no leader. I'm gonna have to lip him. Now that's pretty. Underneath these sprats. Oh, he was hooked hard in the roof of the mouth. That's a nice bass. That makes my day. All over tarnation and coming back, the little sprats are jumping on the water right here. Just pulled a real nice one out of them. I think I just had another hit. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this one go. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty. That's an aquarium size. Large mouth bass. About the size of them white trout I was catching. Got a bald eagle circling right overhead. He's carrying a branch or something with him. Looks like he's got a branch or something. He might have. I don't know. Either nesting or he's got something tangled on him. One, two, three, four, five bass and a catfish. Not bad. Pretty mess of fish. Four, five, six, seven. I see seven. seven? Big catfish. A big cat, uh, little cat. Yeah. That's good. Let me throw these in there real quick. Watch, watch that catfish. Yeah, watch that catfish. You like that? Ain't bad. Yeah, that's a nice bass right there. I uh, know, that's the one I caught uh, under hey. the sprats. Is it? Yeah. Oh. With the uh, six pound test. That's why I say, oh man, I gotta lip him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come get ten like that, huh? Coming back from a day of fishing with Tomas, two Hobie Pro Anglers out at uh, <coughs> Avondale, Louisiana, Pier 90 bass fishing. I ended up with five bass, Tomas ended up with seven. We both got a catfish. So I make these videos, I try to explain what baits I'm using and techniques and all to try to help you catch fish. And I'm by no means proficient at all fishing bass. I really struggle with the worm fishing. I have a hard time uh, sensing the bites because I've been a saltwater fisherman my whole life and you usually get a strike and there's no doubt about it so learning the subtleties of worm fishing if anybody's got any suggestions or comments on helping me out with that please send them to me so until next time get out there and go fishing